I will be on the trip. And I'm here this afternoon to share that secret with us. Singapore is a very beautiful place with a lot of sight uh, uh, with the picture you are doing, you know. How many of us would like to visit a place like this and take pictures, you know? I've seen people go to Lekki Bridge to go and take pictures. I've seen people go to uh, to uh, Zenith Street at, uh, at uh, on off Adi Ola Odeku. Uh, and I just say Adi Ola to go and take pictures around Christmas, you know. Singapore is a lovely place. It's a beautiful place that you will love to have in your collection as part of the places in the world where you have taken pictures. And this is no joke, you know. I've uh, taken time to research all of this and, you know, I really, 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 really want to visit Singapore. And that's how I ensure that whatever it was going to take me to qualify for Singapore, I was ready to do it, okay? Uh, if there's anybody in the house this afternoon, can anybody tell me where is the next location we are going to as a company? Is there anybody in the house this afternoon, you know exactly where we are going to as a company for the next trip. Anybody like that? Is there anybody in the house this afternoon that knows? Okay, is this still Singapore? Olu Afade Kevin Shogulu says Singapore. I mean, what I'm saying is a qualification is about to start on the first of October, you know, for 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 different league, for bronze league, for for. For, for, for Gold League, for, for Champions League. You know, where are we traveling to? Somebody says Singapore, somebody said Dubai. You know, wherever or wherever we are traveling to, you know, around the world, how will you ensure that you make it to the trip? That's what this meeting is all about. Somebody said Singapore reloaded, you know. We are going again to Singapore. So how will you, ensure that you make it to Singapore, how will you ensure that people in your team also make it to Singapore? There, there was a video I listened to in the course of the week where somebody said, many of us treat our business as if we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are engaging in an hobby. You know, your business is not an hobby. Your business is business. It is a job where it is required that you wake up every day and set out know what you want to achieve in the course of the day. It is not just something you handle anyhow. It is a business you must handle as a business. That means if you, if you are a banker, if you work for a bank, you need to wake up, know the number of customers you need to reach to meet your goal, know the number of customers you must meet on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, so that your dreams, your goals can be achieved. Because if you don't meet the required number of customers, if you don't talk to the required number of customers on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, know that you will not achieve your dream. Okay? And, you know, we are prepping ourselves, we are getting ready to ensure that on this next trip, as many of us as possible, will be on the trip. What are you doing from now that we ensure you will be better placed when we start on the 1st of October? You know? Many of us just many of us just pay lip service to our goals, you know. Uh, for those that take time to set the goals, from the day we set the goals, we let them go. We no longer look at them. Please type today. I will no longer pay lip service to my goals. I will be committed to my goal. You know, I need somebody to type, type that. I will be committed to my goals. You know, you can see all those beautiful pictures. You know, uh, how many of us? This picture I'm showing is, is closely related to the first picture. You know, <laughs> this Singapore amazing place to be. You know, and I, I I I don't want to miss this next one. You know, there are a few places in Singapore. Ah, uh, that is worthy of mention. There is what, what they call the Garden Bay. You know, it offers visitors a vibrant horticultural oasis of lush greening and floral display. You know, beautiful flowers. It doesn't matter the number of flowers you have seen before. You know, you probably have not seen a collection of this number of flowers gathered in the same place. They call it the Garden Bay in, 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 in Singapore. And there is what they call Sentosa. It's a sunny island in Singapore, home to exciting event team attraction, award winning spas, lush rainforest, golden sandy beaches, you know. And there's, there's, there's also an amazing one, you know. This this is like the, the symbol of, 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 of Singapore. This is like you cannot go to, to Singapore and miss this particular one. It's called Melion. It's a combination of mermaid and, and lion, you know. It, it, it's, it's an amazing sight that no one should miss. All of this in the heart of Singapore. However, 
you know, how do I ensure that I will qualify for Singapore without breaking my bank? You know, uh, that's 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 what this meeting after this afternoon is all about. And I can assure you, for as many of us that will take time to listen and take follow things I'm going to be talking about, Singapore will become a reality for you. You know, I need you to type that thing is a reality for me. Singapore is a reality for me. If Singapore is your reality this afternoon, I need you to type yes. Yes, yes. If Singapore is a reality for you, I need you to type yes. Okay, as I move on this afternoon, and, you know, uh, let me quickly define the word success. You know, somebody says success is when you achieve a set goal. You know, the first time I understood this, I told myself, what, what, what is this? You mean success is this simple? You know, when you set a goal that by two o'clock, I want to ensure this is done, and that which you set as a goal is achieved, you are said to be successful. If you set a goal, joining this business in one week, I want to become one star, and you achieve the goal, you are successful. If you set a goal that you become two star and you set a date, you put timeline to it and your action steps are clear on what you need to do to be able to achieve what you want to achieve, then you are said to be, you are said to be, to, to be successful. If you set a goal, okay, I want to become, you know, for some of us that have listened to Kike, Kike said Singapore is a reality for me. When she set a goal that she was going to become a three star, it wasn't like it was, she was going to achieve it. It may not be clear to her immediately what she will need to do to achieve that goal. But ladies and gentlemen, she was able to achieve the goal. When she became three star, many people didn't believe it. They were wondering, how did Kike do it? She set it as goals. And for some of us who are, who are used to, 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 to the way things work, when you set a goal for yourself in a particular direction, whether it makes sense to you or it doesn't make sense to people around you, the forces of nature will come to, all the forces around you will come together to work for you to ensure you achieve the goal because you set the goals. That we always say it in financial intelligence class, that the reason most people do not achieve financial intelligence in their entire lifetime is because they didn't set it as goal. Okay, and you are here today, you know, there is, there is a goal in front of you to cross Singapore. The people are going to Singapore by, by, by mid next year. You want to be on the trip, you want to be on the train. You want to ensure that you cross the goal. What are you doing today to ensure you are on that train? You know, and the first thing I'd like to say to you is to have a goal. You know, the company every time is taking time to set their goal. The company is setting its goal. I want also a number of people to be, to be on this trip. The management will sit there, they will scrutinize it, they will look at the, their numbers, ensure that they put the resources in place. You know what? If 100 people qualify for Singapore, the company will have no choice than to sponsor 100 people to Singapore. Because out of the activities they are going to generate, the company will have ensure that the resources are put in place to ensure that that is achieved okay however when only 15 of 10 people really really desire to go to those destinations what well, we have because thank you you know uh, dr fumi says the universe conspires to help you to achieve your set goals yes you know the resources it will be amazing how things will just come together for you only you to achieve your goals and if you do not achieve the goals Whose fault is it? And having defined what success means, that success means when you set a goal and you achieve the goal. <laughs> Somebody say this is my first class, so don't worry, don't worry. I will, I will take time to to attend the, to the question when I before I finish. So, but, so when you have a goal. And your goal is clear to you. You will be forced, you'll be compelled to talk about the goals every, everywhere you go. You'll be compelled to speak to people about your goal. And you know, at times, the way it works is that 
people, when they talk about your goals in the places that you least expect, they may find resources that you do not know is available. And if they are not wicked, they will link you up with the resources that you need to achieve your goals. But even if your goal is not achieved to, to if your goal is not clear to you, how will you mention it to somebody else? Talk less of somebody else talking about your goals or your dreams in other places. That your goal, the first person that needs to own and hold onto your goal is you. And you need to commit to this goal. It's not just enough to set your goal. It is important that you commit to your goals. And I also say at this point, seek help. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on your goals. Don't say, I cannot achieve it. Maybe... Maybe you've set a particular goal for, for yourself in the year 2020 and then pandemic came and you told yourself, no, 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 this, 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 these goals I've set for my business, and I can no longer achieve it, you know, it can no longer happen. But check yourself at this point, you know, and it's not as if anybody is a superstar, it's, it's not as if anybody is a superhuman being. When pandemic came in March, you know, usually we've been hearing about, about uh, SARS and different kind of diseases that people have in China, you know, we just always generally believe it's not going to come to us in Nigeria, you know, no, it's not our portion in Nigeria, it will not get to us, after all, we have malaria, we have cold, we have flu, we have... We, we, we have different kind of things. You know, all those things are not affecting us. What is Corona? Corona cannot come here. But let me tell you this afternoon. A time came in April this year that every one of us was almost going to be hot. So for me, that earned hundreds of thousands of naira in Green Monday every month. And in April, everything grounded to almost zero. I had to call myself to order. What is Dr. Fumi doing during this lockdown? What is Akade doing? Okay, that's engineer Major Kodumi. doing. What is Fadika Mishomolu doing? What are those people doing differently that I'm not doing? What can I learn from them to ensure that these goals that I've set for myself is achieved? Okay, and what I'm saying in, in essence is do not be discouraged, irrespective of what is happening. God understands everything. Every of those, of those troubles, every of those triumphs is to lead you to triumph. That every goal that you have set for yourself in Green Monday in the year 2020 is still achievable. Never, 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 ever give up. Winston Churchill was called to come and speak in a school, you know, uh, in the peak of his career. And he stood up from his seat and he faced those students and he said, never, 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 ever give up. And he left the podium and he went to sit. You know what? That speech was very short, but that speech is remarked to be the most unforgettable speech that anybody has ever made. Nobody in that congregation, nobody on the podium that day ever, ever forgot what he said to them. Don't ever give up. If you need to seek help, seek help. Do not let your upline that is short-sighted cut short your own dream. Go above them. Do not let your sideline, who cannot see what you are seeing, cut short your dream. You are not born together. Move ahead. Just forge ahead. Do you know what? People might laugh at your goal. Your goal is your goal. In fact, it is more better when they laugh at you. For those of us that are familiar with the story of Joseph, when he told his, told his brother that they are going to bow down to him, he is the second to the last one of the family. And he, he then mentioned to one of them that they will bow down to him. You know, many of us, you know, have read about how his brothers conspired. They came together to ensure that this boy that is a dreamer does not achieve his dream. But what eventually happened? Everything they did came together and worked in his favor. So set your goals, commit to your goals, and seek help, and never, never, ever give up. Okay. And see, I always tell people, as the next set of league, whether Champions League or Gold League or Bronze League, whatever league you are going to play in, in this next phase of our business, I will encourage you to work with people. Work with people. You know, people are very smart. People see beyond what you say to them. Okay, P36 raising their hand. I will give you opportunity to ask me questions. Don't worry. I'll give you opportunity to raise whatever question, but let me quickly finish the presentation so I can attend to 
all of the questions. So, um, as I was saying, I said, work with people. Ensure you sit down with people. Like for me, I'm in the process of looking for just five people within my team that we work with for the next qualification period. These five people, we need to ensure that they sell, set their weekly goals. Their weekly goals need to become my own weekly goals so that as I'm helping them to achieve their goals, I am drawing closer to my goals. And it doesn't matter. I may have a lot more people than that, but the truth of the matter is I need to own, hold on to five responsible people who will stay committed to their dream to ensure that my own dream is achieved. Dream Monday is designed in such a way that every upline need to help their downline to achieve big things, to be able to achieve big things. It is not about you know, placing your chest on everything and be getting everything for yourself. So we say, get all you can, can all you get and sit on the can. When you sit on the can, you will also not achieve your dream. Get all you can, can all you get and ensure that this can go around your team. Let ensure that everybody in your team is earning no matter how small. This way they will be encouraged to do more. This way they will be encouraged to do to do what their capacity can handle, and do do not know when their capacity will gain strength and be gone on their own. So, there is a sales people do not do well in network. Yes, this, 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 this business is not about sales. This business is not about selling. This business is about people, working with people. You can say, I want to do it by myself. Ah, after me, after me, after me. Only me, only me can achieve it. If you continue like that, you will burn out. Look for four to six people that only you can work with and run with them. They say, if you want to travel fast, travel alone. If you want to travel far, travel with people. That you can build a team of four to ten people who want, who want to also qualify. You can build a team of four to ten people. They simply want to qualify. Some of them may want to play in bronze league. Some of them may want to play in gold league. It doesn't necessarily need to be champions league. But as long as you have people who are committed to their small, small goals, you that is setting big goals, will also achieve your own. You know, Picture the dream, you know. At this point, if I ask you, um, around you, where you are now, how many, how many cars is parked outside your door? Okay? Uh, in Nigeria, that may not be a difficult question. But outside on your streets, how many cars are parked on your streets right now? And I tell people, the truth of the matter is you can count the number of cars on your streets. Okay, but because it, you, it is not useful to you, there is no need to count them. In the room where you are in right now, there are radio signals, there are radio waves. Why are you not currently listening to radio? It is only those who have radio or transistor radio that can get the signal. Okay, until you have a device that can transmit the code that is being transmitted, that's when you can hear what is going on in the atmosphere around you. So, so also, picture your dream. There is what we call reticular activating system. That when you look at your dream in a particular way with all seriousness, you will see how to go about achieving your dream. We always say when your why is strong enough, your how will show up. When your why is clear to you, how you are going to go about the dream will appear to you. Let me quickly move on in this point. You know, on Sunday, we had a presentation where the MD was saying, you know, what is your part in this? How many presentations are you going to do this week? How many people will be in front of the presentation? How many sign-ups? How, uh, how much are you going to earn as income? How many people you will have in trainings? How, many, how much will you earn? You know, he was setting all of these goals. I hope everybody under the sound of my voice that is set to qualify for Singapore has set all of these goals for themselves for this week. Because you know, not too many people are talking in the group. Not too many people are talking about their dream. Many people want to achieve the end result, but the activities you need to generate to achieve this 
goals is very, very important. So set your goals for the week. The company has said from October, our earning cycles will be seven, seven days. That is, you will work Monday to Sunday, and on Monday morning, your earnings will drop. How much do you want to be earning on a weekly basis? And you need to understand that what you earn on a weekly basis is directly connected to your qualification to Singapore or Dubai or whatever destination the company is going to next. If you cannot connect your goals from where you are today or your monthly or weekly income to your qualification to all expense paid trip, you are yet that. Okay? And I move on at this point. The truth of the matter is everything in this life is created, is created twice. That all the beautiful masterpieces you have seen in the world today, somebody conceived the idea, somebody conceived the dreams, somebody set the goals, somebody sat down, distilled the goals down to black and white, and it became something that somebody can carry out. And you know the beautiful part about goals is that most times it is not even the person that conceived the goals is not even the person that dreamt the dream that will execute it. The person is only able to interpret the dream. People will understand the goals and they will run together to achieve the dream. It's not necessarily the person that conceived the dream that will build this beautiful stadium. You know, when the Sheikh of Dubai was dreaming in the early 90s of what he wants Dubai to become, if the people around him are saying, um, it's just a dream, and that's how he has always been dreaming, this thing will never be achieved. But look at Dubai today. Dubai has become a place that we all want to travel to. Currently, saying they are not giving visas to, to Nigeria. Nigerians that are there, they are stranded, they cannot work, they cannot do anything. And you know, Nigerians kept crying, ah, and these people used to come to Nigeria for medical tourism and all of that. Too fair. Sit down and set your own goals. Many of us have mental creation today. How do you move from your mental creation to physical creation? Pay attention to your dreams. Stay committed to your dream. Don't just be playing lip service to your goals. Pay attention to it. Somebody type, I will pay attention to my dreams. I need somebody to type that. I will pay attention to my dreams. Okay? Oh. Somebody is saying, can somebody, something be done on the voice audio? Can you all still hear me? Hello? Okay, yes, I will pay attention to my dream. So, so, people are hearing me. Thank you very much. So, everything that you see in life, no matter how beautiful, you know, they are, they are, they are created twice. It first started from your head. It first started as an idea. Then you give wings to it. You give, uh, you give flesh to it. You, you begin to communicate your dream. You begin to communicate your ideas. This is what I see. This is what I want us to achieve. This is what is possible. And boom. Physical creations come to pass. And that's exactly how every dream, every goal work. If it is your dream, if it is your goal to qualify for this next trip, make sure you don't just pay lip service. Start setting your goals from today. It is important. And at this point as well, how do you turn it to reality? How do you ensure that you are not just talking about this? I said, connect it with the company vision. The company has a dream. The company has a goal. How aligned is your goal with the company's dream? How aligned is your goal with what the company wants to achieve? So I always tell people, and let me tell you, you know, there is a, there is a story the Bible that I just love to share. You know, there, there was a time that, you know, um, Haley and his wife, they were, they were, they were looking for, uh, for, 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 for fruit of the womb. And you know, every year they they go to Shiloh to 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 pray to God. And one day she went into the temple to pray. And as she was praying, she said, "God, if only you will give me a son, so that I can give this son back to you." It was recorded that as she made that prayer, God began to make arrangements for a vision to come to pass. Because at that point, a vision, a goal, a dream of having a son is connected to the fact that God is also looking for a prophet. 
Are we together? It's connected to the fact that God is also looking for a prophet. And that's how Samuel came to be. You know, that if you are in the company today, are you connected? Is your goal, is your vision, is your dream connected to the company's goal? How aligned is your goal with the company's goal? Now, the company has set the goal to go to Singapore. Somebody is saying, no, me, I don't want to go to Singapore. I want to relocate to U.S. Okay. In as much as your go to US is possible, what the company will pay for is your trip to Singapore. Connect your dream with the company vision. Okay, somebody is saying the, the audio is really, really breaking. Is, is that the same for everyone? Okay. Can everybody hear me loud and clear or is really, really breaking? Okay, some, some people are saying they can hear clearly. Oh, some people are saying they can hear loud and clear, loud and clear, loud and clear. Okay. So for those who are not hearing clearly, please do something about your audio. Most people are hearing loud and clear. Okay, let me move on to point number two as I begin to wrap up. So be interruptible, productive procrastination. Let, let it be that, let your team members be able to call you every time. Every time something is not clear to them, they'll be wondering, hey, and I cannot call my upline right now. I cannot, I cannot allow somebody to come and shout on me. You know, the, the, the way this person reacts, every time I ask a question, I'm even getting tired of this business. I'm beginning to think that this business is not meant for me. I'm beginning to think that, you know, this business, somebody like me cannot do this. Be interruptible. You know, let, 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 let's learn from, from our MD. Every time you send him a message, if it's 2 a.m., if it's 3 a.m., you will get a direct answer. Be interruptible. Productive procrastination, knowing that when you help that person to clarify, when you help that person to achieve their goal, it is also going to affect your own goal. Relate and work with people of like minds. Work with people who are going in similar direction. Wherever they are around the world, ensure that they, you, are, you are thinking alike. You are, you are thinking in the same direction. Not that you want to go southwest and you want to go to, 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 to southeast. Not that you want to do PDP and the person is saying, no, APC is my, is my idea. Relate and work with people of, of, of like minds. You know? uh, not like Nigeria politics without ideology. Let your ideology be the same let it be that you are working to the same goal. Use what we call the smart goal system. Let your goal be specific. Let it be measurable. Let it be achievable. Let it be relatable. And let it be time bound. Are we together? Let it be smart. And smart means let it be specific. Set goals that are specific. Don't, do not set ambiguous goals. For, uh, you just set the goals for, 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 for the purpose of set, set, setting it. I will make 1.2 billion naira by the end of 2020. Okay? It is possible. Are we together? But what are you doing today that will ensure that you achieve that goal? Let your goal be measurable. Let it be that when you achieve that goal, it will be known that you have, you have achieved it. Let it be that, okay, I will achieve, I will, I will, I will, I will earn a minimum of one million naira on a weekly basis. Okay? When you get there, you will know you are there. There is no doubt. There is no controversy. Let it be measurable. Let it be achievable. Let it be goals that is achievable. Let it not be that you know, it's, it's been said the maximum anybody can earn on a weekly basis is 10 million naira. And you are saying, I want to achieve 20 million naira. Okay? Let it be achievable. Let it be relatable. And let it be time bound. Do not set goals and leave it open-ended. Let let let, let's, let's be specific that by so, so, so time, I will have achieved my goal. Okay? And also track your steps. Track your steps. Track when, when, when the end goal, we, we always say in, in several habits of, of, of highly effect, effective people, the number one thing you need to do is to begin with the end in mind. When you begin with the end in mind, when you know what you want to achieve at the end of the day, be able to break it down to small, small steps. That okay, this is what I need to do today to achieve the goal. This is what I need to do tomorrow. This is what I need to do day after tomorrow. Be able to do it on a weekly basis and track your steps as you move towards your goals. Okay, and I say to you as I begin to wrap up this afternoon, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. 
They said the next best time is now. Do not waste time for time waits for no man. Before you know it, 1st October will be here already. You can see some people on the current Singapore trip, you know, they are, they are doing it like they are going to get second slots. It's because the, the systems they, are, they have put in place cannot be stopped. When we enter 1st of October, that system that they have put in place will continue to run. That from the first week, we will see how some people will run. They will tend to outrun everybody. But the truth of the matter is, every one of us can build such a system. That the best time to build a system was, was when you started the business. And the next best time is now. You know, many of us will look at Victor Yoma today and say, ah, how did Yoma do it? You know, between March and now, he has been able to do this, he has been able to do that. A time came that the light bulb turned on in his head and he decided that this lockdown, this is what I, I want to train my team. I want to ensure I work with my team to achieve goals. Many of us have been in this business. We are not really doing anything. We are saying, okay, I'll wait for the day that things will move. Things will not move until you move it. Okay, create your own Zoom account, create your own group where you are bombarding and disturbing people on, on, on every day. You know, the company is doing a daily push. Are you posting it on WhatsApp status? Are you posting it on Facebook? Are you, are you putting it directly in people's? Do what works for you. You don't have to copy someone. The best time to, the next best time to plant a tree is now. The next best time to take action is now. Do not waste time. Do not dull yourself. Don't sleep on a bicycle. It is important that you carry your dream and start running with it today. And I hope at this point, I know that I've been able to convince somebody that this Singapore is a reality. Some of us already qualify for one slot. We are looking for another slot to be able to carry our spouse along. Okay? But as all of this is laid on the table, do not waste time. Do not dull yourself. This is possible. Thank you very much. I know a number of people have been trying to ask me questions. Um, uh, at this point, I would like to take on a few questions uh, of what people have been asking me uh, of how you know uh, things will be clearer to them. I know and uh, somebody earlier, okay, somebody said, please do explain the star issue. I don't understand. Oh, this is my first class. You know, uh, I guess what I was saying at that point is that when you set your goals, when you put your goals down, when your goals become something you look at on a daily basis, you communicate your goals, the forces of earth, okay, irrespective of who and what you believe, will come together to bring resources to your disposal to ensure you achieve your goals. And I love the way Dr. Fumi put it. He said, she said, the universe conspires to help you achieve your set goals, okay? You can only achieve goals that you have set. Okay, you can achieve other things, but it cannot be rated as success because it wasn't your goal. It is whatever you set as goals that makes you successful. When you achieve a particular set of set goals, then you are said to be successful. Okay, that's what I was saying there. Okay, if you have any question this afternoon, uh, if there's anybody, there's something you need me to clarify, uh, there's something uh, you need to know, Okay, uh, this will be a good time uh, to draw the cutting on this afternoon presentation. Okay, um, I know Kika is in this room. Hello, uh, is Kika in the room? Okay, Coach Kika, now I'd just like to give you voice uh, to share with us. How, how was the Singapore experience uh, for you? How did you qualify, you know? What, what are the things that work for you that we can learn from you this afternoon? You know, just in two, three minutes, I would like to give you a voice uh, to share with us how you qualify for Dubai before I allow Dr. Fumi to also speak to us. Kike? Uh, okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, okay. Are you, I talk about Dubai or Singapore. Dubai. The country. country. Singapore, Singapore. Okay, uh, actually, what I would say about my Singapore qualification is teamwork. So, and I've enjoyed that a lot. Anytime I want to achieve something great, like I, uh, I was taught, is to look downward. 
So I look for people around me that's, uh, that are going for the same goal and help them. And sometimes I make sacrifices. So it's not, it's not only about me. Sometimes if I cannot achieve a loan, I ask for help and I get help uh, within my team to, to make sure I achieve that goal. But most of the time I take it up myself. It's not only me. Some, sometimes I do the sacrifice of, okay, if somebody else can do it, why not? So that's basically how I qualified. It's a team effort. I, I enjoy support from my team member, from my upline and my downline. So, but, but first of all, it was a set goal. Okay. That, okay so this thing, and when it was looking like I won't be able to achieve it alone, I called for help. Oh God. But I've already done what I was supposed to do. So, okay. um, and they rally around me to make sure that the account is qualified. Beautiful. Because you must put in your own efforts because nobody will support you if you have not making any efforts. I've already, I've already done the bulk of the work. So before help came. Okay, thank you very much. So basically, she said a team, a team, you know, a team is always going for, for, for it. And, you know, the beautiful part is that the next phase we are entering is that they also have their own league, you know. Even though they cannot play in the Champions League, they can, they can play, you know, in, in bit, bit by bit. Okay, I would also like to hear from Dr. Fumi uh, on our qualification for Dubai. Uh, okay, I would like Dr. Fumi to share with us briefly. Uh, then Dr. Amai uh, Jokodumi, before I go reporting this afternoon. Dr. Fumi, are you there? Dr. Fumi, I'd like you to say something. Okay, in our absence, is Engineer Amai Jokodumi there? Okay, yeah, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm unmuted now. Okay, we can see you now, ma. Yeah, I, I will not show my screen at this, uh, my video at this time, though. Yeah, thank you very thank you. much. Yeah, you know, just like uh, Pretty Leo said, no one can do it alone. It's about your team. At the same time, it, it's for me, it's, I mean, any goal, it's about setting the goal, a goal, and deciding that whatever it is going to take. You, 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 one is going to achieve it. It's about your team. You have to work with your team member because you cannot, uh, the, 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 the getting to qualifying for anything is not about what you do by yourself, what you buy, it's, it's still about your team. But it is, your, yes, your team can be there, but if a person does not set that goal and say, I am going to uh, uh, achieve this goal, then it's not, uh, it may not happen. And the, what I put in the chat box, I just realized this is this year, I really have been hearing, oh, when you set a goal, the universe um, conspires to make your goal. It's this year I have seen it happen. I saw mm -hmm. it in, in, in Dubai. I saw it in three star one. I saw it in three star two. And I saw it in Singapore. So it's really about setting that goal. Whatever needs to happen would happen, but set the goal and be committed to it. Thank you very much for your class. Thank you. you know, I, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, when you set goals, the universe will conspire to ensure you achieve your goal. Somebody said, okay, how can someone on silver package achieve going to Singapore? It's very simple, okay? Um, I think what is important for every one of us, as everyone is saying, is team building. The currency of our business is PV. And if you look at it, it is only those who are bringing others on board based on their reader experience. Those are the people that are really achieving mega points. You know, uh, you know there are days I'll just wake up and see that, okay, my, my team has added five points. How is it happening? Maybe something has done a and there are times that I'll do a VIP or platinum package myself, you know. You need to ensure that all of these things are happening regularly. Team building is the way to go. And I'm hoping that before the end of this week, there will be a topic on team building. How do you prospect? How do you talk to people? How do you get to, to talk to people and they will agree to, to, to what you are saying? And we, are, we are going to take another class before the end of the week uh, to, to achieve that. Just ensure that by 12 noon every day, you are coming out, you are, you are coming out to support 
whosoever is going to present. I'm technically not supposed to present this afternoon, but it's my team. And I understand that the person that is supposed to take the, the meeting is busy somewhere else. I have to you know, step in and ensure that this is happening. It is teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, okay? It is very important. So if you are on silver package today, just make sure you double up, work with your upline. What power are we working with in our team? What, how many points do I need to, 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 to qualify? How many VIP? How many platinum? How many goals do I need to sign up for this goal? Okay, how many GMS do we need to do in my team? Once all of those things are clear to you, then you can break it down to weekly and start pursuing your goal. And at the end of the day, it will be an achieved dream. Somebody said, what do I need to do on any of the packages? Okay, there is the one I tell people the more, uh, most about this, this time is VIP. You know, when you come on board as a VIP member, you know, you will, you know, you will surpass many people who are already in the business. You will start at a high level. But if you don't have money and you cannot do VIP of 750,000, there are packages for 400K, there is a package for 140, there is a package for 75K. And there is, you know, the one that we almost don't mention, the gross pack. You know, just make sure whatever you do, you come on board and you will start pursuing your dream. Thank you very much. Okay, there is somebody here. I don't know if Engineer Matt Jacobi is still here. You know, uh, you know, I, I always like hearing from him from time to time uh, because the first day he came for, for an event in our place, you know, they said, ah, this engineer is ready to drive his business. And he said, okay, let's do something together. And we did a few things. And since then, I've been seeing the way he has been flying, okay? I would like to give him voice to say something to us. How exactly did he qualify to Singapore? You know, uh, what do we need to do? What can we learn from him before I draw the 14th final? Engineer, my yeah, can we hear afternoon. from you? Good afternoon, all. Uh, actually, from onset, I set my goals. Since the Singapore trip comes out, I set my goals that this trip I have to qualify. Whatever I need to do to ensure that I did it, I did it. From onset, I worked towards it. And by August, one of my team members helped me also to qualify because mm -hmm. it means small, some small things for me to achieve the goals. And we have to do it together, to do teamwork, and I qualify. Thank you. Okay, everybody is saying team, team, team. I, and I hope that with these few words, we are now able to realize that it's a team, it's, it's by building your team that you can make a lot happen for, for us. Okay? Somebody is say, somebody saying it's my first time here. Okay? Uh, I'm hoping that the person inviter is here so that you can help me distill this down. Uh, by 6 p.m., we are going to have a prospect meeting where we are going to break down how this works. This is a members meeting. This meeting is for members where we train members. We help them to understand their business better and how they can perform better. That's what this meeting is for. By 6 p.m. This, this evening, we are going to have a prospect meeting where we'll clarify how this will work. And I encourage you to join that meeting. Uh, see you by 6 p.m. And I hope with these few words of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that dream uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy this meeting as I close the meeting room. Thank you. Thank you. Kushta.